Hidden Object Guru here with the tier list of every supermassive games character. Wow. Uh, so yeah, supermassive games biggest fan, Marissa, has put together a tier maker list of every single character who appears in any of their games. Except for Shattered State, because apparently no one on Earth has ever played Shattered State. Like, no one's really sure whether it's actually a real game. Uh, so let's get into it. Boom. Uh, so as you can see, it's going to be Until Dawn, Rush of Blood, Hidden Agenda, Inpatient, Man of Medan, Little Hope, and House of Ashes. Alright, so first off we have Andrew slash Anthony, the main character of Little Hope. Firmly in the C rank. I mean, uh, he causes all of us to waste a lot of time. So I can't rate him any higher than that. Uh, then we got Vince. Uh, you know what? Vince is fine. I'm going to put him in C as well. Nothing wrong with Vince. Uh, all he basically does is yell at the player for the whole time. But, you know, he seems like an okay guy. Now, the Wolverine. This is the Wolverine that scared Chris in, uh, in Until Dawn. It's a very funny scene. The Wolverine made it happen. He gets an A. Uh, okay, that's somebody from the inpatient oh it's the nurse from the inpatient yeah she's she's okay i'm not gonna put her lower than a c uh one of the two guys from the start of man of medan i really like their section of the game so i'm gonna i'm gonna put them up at b oh it's the doctor so this is the final performance of actor bruce gray who i grew up loving on the show traders which was about the canadian stock market i know that's a weird reason to like this guy but loved him as an actor this was his final role and he's good in it with his constant wacky malapropism so i'm i'm a rank in that guy now we've got the deer or caribou reindeer that uh matt can kill and until dawn like oof. here's why i'm putting him at d that deer didn't have to pick a fight. I know he was wary about there being Wendigos in the woods, but he doesn't have to be such a jerk to what are so obviously not Wendigos. See what I'm saying? Uh, Jason from House of Ashes. Boom, S rank. We're not going to get a ton of S rank people in here, but Jason's the best. He's actually the second best, but you know, we'll get there. Uh, oh, hey, the priest from uh, Impatient. He's a very cool dude. Surprisingly chill, you know, for a, a priest or minister. And weirdly helpful. So I like that guy. Oh, Joey. Y you told some funny jokes and you got turned into a vampire. C rank. Ah, the cop from, uh, the cop from, uh, Little Hope, who's Eric's model. Yeah, here's why D. You, you saw a guy who was clearly either tired or going through a mental issue and you let him keep driving d rank you're bad at your job mike s rank who are we kidding it's mike he had a shotgun he's an awesome dude he saved jessica with a fantastic chase scene like nothing wrong with mike two thumbs up to mike jessica is a uh, human trash who uh caused a lot of problems for a lot of people so yeah uh i'm comfortable putting that down at d rank Main character from uh, Hidden Agenda. I have no idea what her name is. Could not tell you for the life of me. But solidly C rank. She does her job. But I never really learned anything about her as a person. And she's just not that interesting. Love Brad. Easy to put him in a B rank. Big fan of Brad. He's uh, definitely a fun guy. Wonderfully awkward. Wonderfully entertaining. Okay. I'm going to be honest with you, I have no memory of you from Hidden Agenda. So, I don't remember you. I assume, yeah, no, this is the partner. Uh, you know what? Just as good as the person whose partner he was. No notes there. Ah, the evil pastor. F rank. Uh, no, you thought I was going to put the child molesting, Satan worshipping pastor higher on the list? No, he's complete trash. Worst of the worst. So, yeah. Just a... Uh, ridiculous monster oh no this is the the black wolf who you know gets murdered in the game well you know i never got to spend any time with you so i'm gonna drop you down on c rank here we go clarice 
uh, Clarice, that's the same model as Taylor, of course, and um, Glamour Girl. Uh, and the president from uh, Bravo Team. So yeah, but just in House of Ashes, gotta say, very strong character, super likable. I genuinely didn't want to murder her, and I had uh, no chance but to do so. Uh, sorry, no choice but to do so, or she kills Eric. So, un under that logic, she's got to go. Aw, hey, Julia. B-rank. You're fine. Uh, nothing wrong. You know what, C-rank? I was, I was going to try to say something nice about her, and I'm like, she's fine, but that's why we have C-rank. Balathu uh, teamed up with a Gudian to try and... Uh, save himself from some bat monsters now he was a scumbag who also worked for naram sin you know what i just realized i can't put him at b because i've got to put kurum as slightly better than him but because you know he wasn't the one cutting off heads of people left and right and <laughs> throwing spears through the back of teenagers no maybe he would have we don't know who he is as a person but from what we saw He's a less bad dude than Malafi. All right. Wolfie, S rank, no question, done. I will not hear any debate about this. Wolfie's S rank, end of story. Hey, Olsen. Uh, yes, Conrad shouldn't have insulted you, but you guys are scumbag criminals who uh, are willing to murder, so I'm going to put you down at F rank. Oh, look. It's the cop that uh, Eric played in <laughs> Hidden Agenda. Let's just C-rank that bad boy. Uh, oh, it's so weird that she's both in uh, Until Dawn and Rush of Blood, but of course she is. Oh, Hannah, this is a tough one. Mm, like, I feel bad about what happened to you, but as a Wendigo, you were quite a monster. So we're gonna we're gonna put you down at D. You you killed a lot of people, or at least tried to. But yeah. Uh, this is the lead Wendigo from uh, Inpatient and Rush of Blood. So, yeah, I mean, it, again, sad what happened to you, but you're a cannibal who turned into a monster. So, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're down at the D rank. Uh, here is your roommate from the Inpatient. Uh, is a doctor, but is hugely, unbelievably unethical. So, yeah, you've got to go. All right. Okay. Uh, hey, it's Naram Sin. Uh, you're a monstrous dictator who murdered thousands of people to try and get the gods to uh, end a curse on you. It was a bad idea, and it led to a lot of bloodshed. Also, you built a temple on top of a spaceship, which is pretty badass, but that doesn't, you know, balance this out. Uh, we've got Green Jacket Guy. Uh, hmm. This is tough, because I want to put him lower than C. Because he's super unhelpful. I'm, I'm going to. I'm going to put him lower than C. And you might say, why are you putting him lower than C? And I'll tell you why. At any point, he could just been like, Hey, everybody! Uh, government people, science people, the news. I've got like 15 Wendigos locked up here could you do something about them but he didn't and that's the proximate cause of a lot of death including his own josh a rank uh love him he's a monster his uh his love for chris drives him to madness and you know possibly murder and uh, he's a guy with a lot of problems then he gets wendigo at the end of the game so yeah just a just a solid guy all around very entertaining Oh, look, it's the best character that uh, Supermassive Games has ever created. Salim from House of Ashes. He is, it's called S-Rank because it's the rank that Salim is in. So, yeah, it's the Salim rank. All right, now we've got, um, well, it's Miller and the other one. Miller and Brooks. So, this is Miller. He, he covers up thing for, things for the American government. Obviously, he's an F-rank person. He's a monster. I'm going to put the other one, Brooks, there, too. 
You're monsters who cover up spaceships for the U.S. government and, you know, sign off on people being killed as necessary. You might say, well, he doesn't sign off on all the characters being killed. No, but he's like completely blasé about Jason dying of an alien infection and maybe having a parasite generate inside him. So, yeah, you know what? He's a bad guy. There. Done. Uh, oh, this is interesting. So this is uh, blue and green. Oh, so this is the... The Wendigo from the, uh, like, the hero Wendigo, the Ma Makitpa, don't know how to say that, uh, who, of course, is either the inpatient from the inpatient or your roommate from the inpatient, depending on how that story goes. Uh, yeah, even for a Wendigo, this one's really badass, so let's, uh, let's put you up at B. Big fan of yours. Uh, the Burb that can get killed, B rank. Burbs are always going to be B rank. Our other character from the start of Medan, I really like both of them. All right, now we're getting controversial. Because I think Ashley is a C. I know a lot of people would put her lower, but I think she's trying to be an okay person now. But yeah, she was a real bad person in the past. It's tough to say, but I, I'm going to put her to C rank. Emily, you're the worst. D rank. Not all the way to uh, F, of course, but uh, you definitely are terrible. Okay, this is... I have no idea who that is. God, I don't remember Hidden Agenda at all. This is quite embarrassing. Uh, Taylor! Hey, Taylor! B rank. Uh, I know people hate Taylor. Never really understood why. She seems like a lady who's going through a lot right now. Having a ton of problems. And this is just uh, adding up to that. Like, this is just stacked on top of that. Also, Tanya seemed pretty cool. So, B rank. Uh, I have to assume this means what if the main character from uh, Inpatient was a woman? B-rank? Like, it's a reporter trying to uncover something evil, so obviously they're a hero. But, you know, I can't put them any higher, because it's not like I know anything about them, other than the fact that they're a heroic reporter. Okay, let's uh, adjust this since we're going to start knocking stuff down soon. Uh, red Squirrel, A rank, done. Red Squirrel, super cute. Never kill the Red Squirrel. I like Merwin a lot. I don't know if I'd put him up at A rank, but I really do like Merwin a lot. He's He's got the dirty jokes. He can fix things. You know what, while we're here, let's just uh, slap the male version of the inpatient character up there too. Because why not? All right? But Merwin, classy dude. I mean, he's the opposite of a classy dude, but I had fun with him, and uh, oh my god, he can get killed so many ways. Alright, this is the uh, containment soldier that talks to Nick. He's uh, weirdly, like, decent about it. Right? Just a kind of cool dude. So I'm putting in a D. I mean, he's still an evil guy who works for the government, but he's at least polite. Uh, Nick himself... Yeah, comfortably C rank, you know, just a just an average dude. Uh, he's sleeping with a married woman, and he's not dealing with his PTSD well. And let's face it, I the fact that he thinks that he has a future with Rachel under any circumstance uh, is kind of insane. Because not only is she married, set that aside, like she's literally you're with her. Because you're in such a, like, toxic masculinity environment that she's the only person you can talk to about uh, your emotional trauma. And you think that only men and women can only have sexual relationships. That's why you're with this woman. There is no future in this relationship. You've only been screwing for 20 days. And you're like, what about our future together? Oh my god, Nick. You know what? Now that I say it out loud, you're a D-rank. God. Uh, who the hell? Oh, the, the the Jigsaw Killer. It's the Jigsaw Killer. from Yeah, C-Rank. Yeah, he was a fun guy. And he was a Jigsaw Killer. No complaints there. Junior. Oh, Junior. I'm a big fan of you, Junior. It's so hard to save you, but you. I'm putting you up at B-A because you weren't as psyched to kill people. Although, weirdly, like, Danny can never kill anybody. So he's... I, actually, you know what? I have to move... Danny can never kill anybody, so he's got to be a B rank. So, um, obviously, Dan, uh, sorry, Junior has to be a little lower. But, like, Junior's not a bad dude. He's trying not to hurt people too much. 
Again, he can kill somebody. But he's trying not to hurt people too much, so that's something. And, like, it is so satisfying if you manage to save him, because that heartbeat uh, thing with Olsen is so rough. Oh, Dr. Hill. Uh, here's the thing about Dr. Hill. He's not a great doctor. Like... Uh, if, if he showed up at the mountain to try and stop the, uh, the plan and got killed by a Wendigo, he'd be like BRA rank, but he doesn't. He just like sends text messages. So I just can't put him that high. Oh, Angela, you know, I could never figure out, um, why you were so cruel to Taylor and exactly what your relationship with Daniel is. And you seem way too invested in it, and kind of a dick about it, so D rank. The cat! Ah, oh, the famous, the, the famous heroic house, uh, sorry, Little Hope cat. That scares you. A rank. And you know what? Almost all the animals are getting A rank. Well, except for Wolfie, who's S rank. Uh, Daniel, like, literally the platonic ideal of being C ranked. There, I said it. Uh, now we've got Eric King, A-Rank. Just a cool dude. Like, he invented one of the best geomapping satellites ever. And he spends the entire game getting crapped on it, that <laughs> crapped on by everybody for having succeeded at his job. So yeah, uh, just, just a hero. And way too good for Rachel. And does not deserve the ridiculous amount of deaths that can happen to him. He's so nice about it, too. Like, if you see the honeymoon flashback, she actually was 100% responsible for the accident that caused him to lose his lay, right leg under the knee and screwed up his career. Like, she is completely responsible for that, and he's so nice about it. So, yeah, just putting that out there. Uh, this is the female Wendigo from, uh, from The Impatient. So, obviously, she... Uh, sorry, female roommate slash indigo. I, she belongs at the same one as the male place. Uh, the male player version. Although, I gotta say, her version has, like, a, a better visual. Like, uh, as she's turning into Wendigo, the makeup on it is so extreme. Like, such dark, sunken eyes, and the skin pallor is, is fantastic. As I said, Kurum gets one slot above uh, Balafu, so there he is, up in the B. Uh... Oh, it's the guy that, uh, what's his name, played in uh, uh, Hidden Agenda. Yeah, this guy's a real jerk. D-rank. Oh, John. Also D-rank. Your, uh, your bossiness is quite frustrating. And you're always wrong about everything. And you were, like, verging on F-rank. But it's badass when you smash the hell out of that, uh out of your evil doppelganger with a sledgehammer. Hey, sad that they didn't end up putting a sledgehammer in uh, House of Ashes, isn't it? Like, it's an archaeologi uh, archaeological, archaeological dig down there. So, realistically, there should have been a sledgehammer somewhere. And in both previous games, there are scenes where people are, like, swimming, swinging a sledgehammer around, hurting or killing people. So, that would have been great. All right, so... Oh, hey! It's the... It's the Danny model, and it's a guy who uh, lets you into the building to investigate the miners in inpatients. So, just a, just a cool dude. Helpful. Uh, I have no memory of her <laughs> from Hidden Agenda. Apparently, I don't remember Hidden Agenda very well. I don't think that's a problem, per se, because, you know, it's a Hidden Agenda. But, uh, is, is she, no, I have no idea who that is. Just none. It's quite embarrassing. Uh, oh, Rachel, you're trash. You're trash in every way. Uh, there's, there's no way in which Rachel King isn't just terrible. She's, well, first off, she's a CIA agent. So, you know, right off the, <laughs> right from jump, she ain't a good person. But beyond that, she's a CIA agent who's, like, really horrible to Selene? Like, there's this scene at the end of the game where if everybody gets to the, uh... <laughs> everybody gets to the Star Chamber, 
right, Jason will be handing a gun to Salim. She's like, he is not to be armed. I'm like, and Jason, of course, being the best guy, is like, we are well past that, and gives Salim the gun anyway. I'm like, you understand the situation you're in? Salim having a pistol is the least of your problems. Also, she can kill Salim. That alone, you know, earns her an F rank. She is trash in every level. That's not even getting into the whole Nick, Eric, her being terrible at her job stuff. She's just the worst in every way. Oh, it's uh, Larry Fessenden as uh, the guy who runs the carnival, whose name, weirdly, is Dan, I just found out. And he's he's fine. Like, there's no no notes on that guy. He's funny. He's cute. Yeah, he, uh, I enjoy when he when he does his little puns and jokes. I mean, it's not great, but yeah. he he did the best he could with his uh, with the material. Although since Larry Fessenden also wrote that material, maybe I should. Bl you know what? It's a character, not their writer. Uh, I'm going to assume you're the lady who got kidnapped in uh, Hidden Agenda. And while doing so, made zero impression on me. So, boom. Oh, hey, it's Beth. You know, I never think about Beth. Like, she also got killed. And then got eaten. Eh, by her sister. But it's like, made no impression on me. Like, everybody always talks about Hannah, 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 Hannah. I'm like, nobody talks about Beth a year later. Like, they talk about how Hannah and Beth died, but it's like, because the prank was aimed at Hannah and Beth just got caught up in it? Like, no one spends a lot of time talking about how great Beth was. Uh, so here's the guy who talks to Jason, F. Frank, because, you know, he questions Jason, which is not cool. And while we're there, he's the guy who, here's the guy who talks to Salim, F. Frank, because, you know, not nice to Salim either. Uh, guy who talks to Eric, oh, sorry, the lady who talks to Eric is kind of okay. Like, not great, but, you know, definitely at least respectful to Eric. Uh, hey! Hey, Alex, where do you belong? Hmm. Ooh, that's actually a tough one. Where does she belong? Where does he belong? Sorry. Uh, Alex... Hmm. I mean, he's scared of rats, so that's entertaining. But he can also stab his fiance in the neck. That's not great. Uh, hmm. He's no Brad, so I'm putting him one tier lower than Brad. Hey! It's the serial killing drug dealers from, uh, I think this one is representing all of the serial killing drug dealers. Uh, he gets shot in the head, of course. If you, uh, if you have Jason mess with the, uh, the fetishes. Uh, he'll attack him and Rachel will shoot him in the head. It's quite entertaining. Uh, but yes, here's the thing. If he were a goat farmer that they were pressing, that'd be one thing. But he's a serial killing drug dealer, so... F. Frank? F. Frank. Hey, it's the orderly from The Inpatient. Nice solid C. Hey, oh, it's Megan. So, you'd be a lot lower than you are, except... Your ghost shows up and keeps Anthony from killing himself. So, B rank. Oh, good. It's another guy. I assume this is the guy. So, this is where it's going to get pretty embarrassing. Because I'm like, earlier I said, oh, it's the killer from <laughs> uh, Hidden Agenda. Well, this might be the killer from Hidden Agenda. Because it's like, there was another guy who gets killed... And I really, and this is honest, I couldn't tell him and, uh, I couldn't tell him and the killer apart, like, visually. They look too similar to me. So, you see the guy in C rank? I think that's the killer, but this might be the killer. So, I'm gonna drop, um, okay. One of these guys is the killer, one of them is the guy who gets blown up. I'm gonna drop them both into D, just to be safe. Putting way too much thought into a game that nobody played. I'm kidding. Some people played uh, Hidden Agenda. It's just nobody loves it the way they love the uh, Supermassive games. There's Danny from... Uh, uh, Danny from Man of Medan. Uh, let's see. Danny keeps getting beaten up. Tries not to hurt people. Keeps getting beat up. He can get killed like four times. Wow, just like, wait, okay, so we can get drowned. 
We can get choked out. Maybe even we get killed twice. So drowned, choked out at the end. No, he can only get killed twice. Uh, well, he's not a villain the way. Okay, where'd I put Junior? All right, let's 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 put him up at D, because he's not Junior, but he's also not Olson. So yeah, let's let's put him right between Junior and Olson. Captain Dar, he can kill Eric twice, but he's just looking out for his country and he's pissed that he got invaded. Does he cause all of the problems in the game? Yeah, he 100% causes all the problems in the game. But he also makes it so the game happens. So, nice, comfortable C rank. And this is uh, the replacement partner. If your original partner gets killed in Hidden Agenda, uh, this guy is your partner for the rest of the game. So, because the prologue is set like five years or something before the, the main game. This guy becomes your partner. It's the Danny model again. I didn't get my partner killed at the start of the game, so I never met this guy, so I can't really judge. Curator S rank, as if he was going to be anywhere else. Little disappointed uh, that there wasn't more of him. Like, the one good thing about Little Hope, and this is literally the one good thing about Little Hope, is there was a ton of curator in it. He was constantly showing up, being cheeky, name dropping, making pretentious literary references. It's so much fun. And then you go into House of Ashes and he, like, he does nothing. Like, he show, and he has the worst hint i've ever seen like do you want a hint about what to do and uh and you're like okay sure i'll take the hint and then this hint is uh try to get back to the surface yeah i was doing that anyway if you're gonna give me a hint give me some kind of a hint reminding me to kill clarice that's what the hint should have been buddy sorry i just still ticked off about that also i suspect there was supposed to be a fifth curator scene because there's the intro uh, or I guess four. Uh, so there's the intro, there's the end of Act One, there's the end of Act Two, there's the end of Act, there's the end of the game. So that's three. I think, no, that's four. Sorry. Um, I think that there's supposed to be another curator scene midway between Act Two, like after they've killed Joey and after Rachel has met Clarice. There's like a different, uh, like a definitely a huge change in the tone and the pace of act two after that point that's when the gas starts getting put on and i really feel like with those two major hits you know rachel turning out to be alive escaping from a monster running into clarice the guys like disarming the bombs having the shootout with dar tracking dar and his goons tracking down joey killing joey like, that's all leading up to how crazy get the second half of Act 2 gets. And it feels like there should be another curator scene right in there. Uh, but that's, you know, maybe that's a top for another video. Fliss, B, she's fantastic. Chris. Wow. Uh, a rank. Chris did nothing wrong except have uh, Josh be in love with him. And he suffered a lot for that. And yeah, you can say he shouldn't have sided with Ashley. You know, when we were talking about the death of Hannah and Beth. But he was a dude in love, and I'm not blaming him for being in love. Okay, learn a lot about me, because that uh, was also my logic for Eric. Also, you know, Eric is a kind of genius. Uh, Bat Monsters! Boom! B rank, uh, no, A rank. Love me some Bat Monsters. I think they're fantastic. Uh, they... They kick so much ass. Yeah, it's actually a par parasite puppeteering the dead body of a bat monster. But still, these guys are amazing. Love them. Uh, they hunt in such fun ways. They got the, the, they got the poison saliva that gets transformed into Manchurian gold later. Like, everything about them. The design. The way they work. The ship they live in. Like, it's all top notch. Oh, this is the guy who gets framed for being the trapster. Um, you know what, D? If you had told people you were being framed for being the trapster and just said who the trapster was at any point in the past five years, we could have avoided that whole game. So, you know, you're terrible. Uh, here's the reporter? No, the DA. The DA, who wanted to find out what was going on with the trapster case and sneaks around and follows you. Uh, B rank. Yeah, she was, she was okay. She seemed fun. Sam. Ooh. Uh... Sam's kind of weird, because she basically sits out the whole game and then come, becomes the main character at the end. Uh, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you why I'm putting Sam 
at sea. It's because she was a bad friend. Like, she found out about the prank before the prank was going to happen. And she could have stopped the prank. And she didn't stop the prank. So, and you're like, how could she have stopped the prank? She went looking for Hannah. Well, you know the room the prank's going to be set in. So just stand outside the door until Hannah gets there. There, you've stopped the prank. But she didn't. So she's the worst. You know what, D? Now that I say it out loud, D. Uh, I have no idea who you are. I have no idea who you are. I have literally no idea who this guy is. He's someone from The Impatient. Uh, wouldn't it be embarrassing if that was the other guy? Uh, is, is he a doctor? Is he a nurse? Hey, the cop from The Inpatient isn't in this. Alright, well, that's not important. Uh, yeah, I, I don't remember him. I'm going to be honest. I, I don't remember him from the game. I could go back and check. If embarrassing... Well, no, this is obviously your roommate, so that can't be the roommate. I guess he was another doctor? How do I not remember this guy? Conrad from Man and Medan, solid A rank, cool dude all around, just a just a great guy. I mean, he's kind of uh, you know bad jokes and kind of a jerk at times, but always in a very entertaining way. Great performance by Sean Ashmore, wonderful character. Ah, it's the nurse, the unbelievably sympathetic uh, nurse from <laughs> Inpatient who gets eaten rather tragically and you can find her body and it's quite disturbing but yeah uh good character she seemed to want to help despite working for a bunch of evil people so completely sign off on that so that is the ultimate tier ranking list as you can see basically nobody made it into s rank i think it's kind of funny that uh no <laughs> zero people from uh like literally zero people from anything but uh until well not counting the curator but it's like until dawn and house of ashes had people in the s rank and no other game made it into the s rank uh this is more let's face it the a rank is uh mostly for animals i get okay i guess the bat monsters aren't animals but it's just weird that of the what 10 people the nine people i put in s in a rank four of them are animals of one kind or another Honestly, let's move that burb up there. There we go. So, A rank is 50% not human. I stand by that statement. Uh, so, yeah. Um, I'm a little sad that there was nobody from Bravo Team in here. Uh, because the Taylor model was the president of the country in Bravo Team. So, uh, I would have put her up at B rank. Because she, you know, did a house cleaning coup that murdered all of the, the super right wing generals. So, you know what? I'm uh, I, I'm actually kind of on her side, which is not what the game wants me to be. But, you know, it is, that is where I came down on it. Also, weird that the cop from, uh, the, the cop who either throws you in an asylum or terrifies you into keeping quiet from the end of the inpatient isn't on this list. But, honestly, I'm not here to criticize. Thank you so much to Marissa for making such a wonderful tier list. Uh, this is my tier list. If you want to make yours, I'd be excited to see how other people rank these things. But for now, I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Thanks for watching. Uh, there's buttons coming up to help you find more from me. Uh, special thanks to my patrons, uh, Desire, Marissa, Eduardo, Brian, and Joanne. If you'd like to see... Oh, sorry. If there's any other super massive content you'd like me to make, be sure to drop a note in the comments section below the video and I'll see what I can do. Please don't everybody ask me to cover uh, um, Shattered State. Is that what it's called? Anyway, I've already forgotten what it's called because I have no idea how to do that. It's like some kind of a VR phone application. And, come on, guys. Uh, but anyway, I'll see you here for more dark pictures, but until then, au revoir.